Well, in time now for our quick detour of the day, we've got Blackpink in your area, especially if you're keen on trading ETFs. This is the K-pop ETF, that's right, Contents Technologies, a music rights management company launching this ETF through its asset management subsidiary. The ETF wants to give investors exposure to pop assets that may not be accessible outside of South Korea. That includes Hive, the agency that manages BTS, as well as YG Entertainment, which manages Blackpink, as mentioned earlier, and also Big Bang, kind of a throwback K-pop group. It also tracks movie giants like the media conglomerate that was behind the film Parasite. So uh, you can see 3% up intraday. So at least there's that. ETFs, all the rage. I am all for K-pop and catchy music, right? Yeah. But as an investment, how's it doing? Well, I mean, we were talking earlier this morning about ESG, right? I mean, this is the type of thing you don't have to worry about maybe. Uh, you don't, but we did check here. Or <laughs> a little research on our detour <laughs> yeah. story for the day. Uh, big Hit Entertainment, which is, of course, uh, the company that backed BTS. They weren't one of the big ones no, in no. K-pop. They went public, down nearly 60% over the last year, 50% year to date. Is yeah. that a good investment? Well, I mean, it's better than Peloton. So at least, there's, you know, comparatively, <laughs> the hey, look, everything about the stocks bar? is always what you compare things to. But look, there's a lot of K-pop fans out there. But I think actually, if anything, on a serious note, this speaks to the popularity of just ETFs, right? And yeah. we had ETF guest on earlier this week, and it seems like the popularity, despite the equity market sell-off, has not really taken all that much steam out of ETFs. I mean, yes, the ETF is down this year, but the idea is in the next five to 10 years, maybe longer than that, K-pop's going to be huge, right? And so get it- those little, little hearts out. The right? hearts, yeah. yeah. I mean, actually, my, my backup, like, if this whole journalism thing doesn't work out for me, like, every single Korean K-pop band has, like, some token, like, Chinese person to, like, appeal yes. to the Chinese market. Maybe I could just grow my hair out, dye it, learn how to sing, learn how to dance, just become more attractive, and then I could be maybe part of um, one of these K-pop I don't know groups. how to break it to you, Brian. I think you might not be the age requirement right now for K-pop oh. groups. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dang! But hey, <laughs> you call me you're old. out there. I'm not calling you old. I'm saying they start very, very young. Okay, but I, I need if anything, this is another way to get new investors in the Korean exchange. That's that the, may uh, be one way to pitch it. All right, we're going to check our markets here in the U.S.